Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, today I'm basically going to be doing a double feature for all you viewers out there that are looking to jailbreak with the newest firmware, 4.2.1. Um, I am pretty sure that they will, will be releasing a new firmware pretty soon. Because uh, like they always do, they always launch new firmwares every now and then at the randomest times. But as of right now, the newest firmware, 4.2.1, is jailbreakable with both Lime Rain and Red Snow. I will have download links in the description for both of these programs. And in this video, it'll be a double feature showing you how to use each. I have used both. I used Lime Rain on my 3GS iPhone, and I also used Red Snow on my 3G iPhone. Uh, it's basically just a preference on which program you want to use. So stay tuned, and I will be showing you how to jailbreak with both of these programs. Thanks. Alright guys, so like I said earlier, today I'm going to be showing you basically two techniques that are basically really viral uh, over YouTube right now. Um, it's two of the easiest techniques actually to jailbreak 4.2.1. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the new Lime Rain, which did just recently release a version for Windows. It was originally just for the Mac in order to jailbreak 4.2.1. But now it is available for Windows, so you can go to the website, which I will have posted in an annotation, and also in the video description. And basically what you'll do is you'll just go to this website right here, which is greenpoison.com. It's spelled a little funky, that's why I'll have it in an annotation, somewhere up in this right corner area. But yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website, click on the hyperlink, uh, somewhere in the description or whatever, and then you're depending on what uh, computer you have, either a Mac system, Linux, or a Windows. You're just going to click on it. I'll go ahead and do it right now. I have Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and click Windows. And you're going to click Save File. I'm just going to go ahead and open it because I already have it saved. Just give it a couple moments. It should start downloading. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, and then um, you're just going to open the file up, basically. This little box up here, don't freak out or anything. That's just normal. It's just loading up the program itself. And I will not actually be jailbreaking my... Alright guys, um, sorry about that. I guess I'll just have to end up editing these and sticking them together. But uh, my memory stick just got full, so I had to go in and delete some stuff. Sorry about that cutting off, though. But to continue the video, when you are using Green Poison, it's really simple, really easy to follow. Red Snow is pretty simple as well. All you're going to do is you're just going to plug your device in and put it into DFU mode, which is, uh, it'll tell you how to do it in the steps after I click this button right here. And, uh, you're just going to simply follow the timer and the on screen steps. And then, uh, basically, by the time it's done, it will basically, uh, your iPhone or iDevice, whatever you're using, will be powering back on and it will be jailbroken, jailbreaking. Sorry with green poison uh, um, with this newer software the new green poison you will have a boot logo that looks a little something like this it's the little apple with a skull looking indention in it it's pretty cool uh... there are also ways to remove that if you don't like that sorry about that um, but yeah basically that's a really simple way you know, for mac linux and windows and uh... now i'll be moving on to red snow so i will see you guys in a second Alright, so now we'll be continuing our video with the uh, second way to jailbreak, which is a different program. This is personally my favorite program. Uh, I found it to work at least 95% of the time. It's only failed me once when I was trying to actually re-jailbreak over my already jailbroken iPhone, which is a big mistake, which resulted in me having to restore my iPhone and not being jailbroken for a while. But ignoring that fact, um, this way is just, it's it's same way, pretty simple. Uh, you get a little bit more options within the jailbreak tool itself, but um, basically what you're going to have to do in order to use this tool, which it'll look like this, it's Red Snow 0.9.6 B4, it's the newest release of Red Snow itself. Um, basically what you'll have to do, if you can see it right here, it says browse, and um, this little message right above me, sorry about that, give me one second, I have no clue what that is, oh. Got an IM. Alright, uh, give me one moment. Alright, uh, but yeah. Basically, um, you see the button browse right there and this little one sentence line right here. Uh, you, it says you must choose your, I, your current firmware for your iDevice. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website right here, which is felixbruns.com, or .de, sorry, my bad. Um, and basically what you're going to do is just go in here and download whatever firmware for whatever device you have at the current moment, which you should download be downloading 4.2.1 if you're watching this video, because that is what both these jailbreaks are for. Or if you don't, don't want to go through the hassle and go on this website, I'll have it posted in the video description. Um, I will also have links to Mega Upload accounts that have the firmware itself posted to where you can just download it from Mega Upload without, without going to a, a website itself. So that saves you a lot of time and hassle as well. But um, yeah, so basically what you're going to do with this jailbreak tool, Red Snow, is you are going to go in here and I will demonstrate for you with this one you will click browse and you will go in here and as you can see I have several different firmwares downloaded because I do this quite often with many different devices uh, you're gonna go in here to your 4.2.1 which is right there and mine's the iPhone 3G it'll say something of this sort and you're just gonna wanna click on it and then click open it'll say processing firmware just give it one moment and then it says IPSW successfully identified if it doesn't say that I have had it have that happen to me before um, either continuously keep trying to do that or if you're getting tired of keep, uh, trying just go back and redownload it I know that can be a little bit harsh but you gotta do what you gotta do and then uh, basically after you get it uh, identified by the program itself what you're gonna do is you wanna click next You'll see this little loading bar. It'll say preparing jailbreak data. Just give it one moment. Oh, and uh, just a little update on the giveaway, guys. Um, what I'm going to be doing while we have some time, I'll tell you, um, is I did get the iPhone fixed. Uh, it is in really good condition. I got a brand new screen put on it, and it works just fine. Uh, I also have an iTouch that I will be giving away along with the iPhone itself. Um, not as one package, but in uh, total giveaways to several different contestants. And uh, I'll be giving the iPhone itself an iTouch. And I will also be giving a pair of headphones, one pair of Skull Candy earbuds, and then a pair of, actually I actually have the package right here, uh, Philips Spec headphones. Both are really nice headphones. I've used them for uh, a couple weeks now. Uh, just to try them out and stuff. And then I went out and bought another pair for a giveaway. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in any of those things. Oh, I also forgot to mention I have otter boxes for the, each of the eye devices that I'll be giving away. Which, uh, as you know, can be very expensive. But if you're interested in any of these giveaways and uh, you want to receive one of these... Basically, what I'm going to ask you to do, as anybody does on YouTube, I'm just going to simply ask you to uh, go. So, one second. I'm just going to simply ask you to go to my YouTube channel. So I made it it's run a little slow. Then I'm basically just going to ask you to simply do uh, a subscription, which there'll be a subscribe button right around here for y'all guys. You guys be right around there I'm just gonna ask you to subscribe favorite and then like the video and then either leave a comment down here on the page itself or just in the video description or the comment section of the video or actually any of my videos for that matter and uh, that will basically enter you and yes I will know if you've done all this um, it is pretty hassleful but I just don't want to give away my stuff just for free I want it to be to a, a loyal viewer so if you're interested in any of that, uh, just subscribe, like, favorite, and then make sure to leave that comment. Uh, and sound a little eager when you leave the comment. Some people are just like, yeah, I want it. Give it to me. Uh, yeah, those kind of people probably won't end up getting it. But anyways, to continue on with our jailbreak, after you have successfully identified the uh, firmware, you're gonna go. Uh, it's going to load up like you just saw and then it's gonna pop up with a list of several things that you can choose from to install on your iDevice uh, install Cydia, install custom bundle, verbose boot, custom boot logo, custom recovery logo enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper for any device um, 
like the iPhone 3G, which I have one of. Uh, enable battery percentage. Just boot tethered right now for uh, any of the devices that will be listed in the description is tethered. I'll explain that a little lot in a little while. And uh, just entered Pwn DFW mode right now. Um, I would honestly just recommend Cydia. Verbo's boot does look kind of cool. I had it for a little while. And then I uh, went back and took it off. Custom boot logo. I actually have one on my iPhone. Um, I'll show you all in a little while. It's pretty cool. It was made for me by Apple and Blackberry. It's pretty sick. Uh, custom recovery logo. Just the same difference as a boot logo. Just a little picture you can customize and put it on there. Although it does have to be a certain width and length. Uh, battery percentage, which as you know is a battery percentage. Home screen wallpaper. Like I said, I do I do enable that myself because I have an iPhone 3G. And just boot tethered. Like I said, I told you I was going to explain that. It basically means that if you have a certain device, which mainly the newer iPhones, iTouches, or iPads. I actually don't even think iPads fall into that category. Sorry about that. But if you have one of the newer iDevices and it is listed in the video description, I do not I don't know it honestly right off the top of my head. But if it does say that it will be tethered or tethered jailbreak for any of those devices that you have, um this option is usually used for those devices. I'm not saying you have to use it, but it is probably the right idea because it's not an untethered jailbreak for those devices. So basically, you're going to want to boot it as a tethered jailbreak so that uh, it'll be jailbroken instead of just wasting your time. Uh, sorry for not making that very clear. But um, yeah, so that would be for all you people with the newer firmwares if you want to play it safe. I'm not saying you have to, but just saying. But anyways, to continue with the jailbreak, I'm going to stop blabbering on. You're going to want to click next after you've done all this. And then it says click next only when your device is both off and plugged in. So I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit. You're just going to click next. And just like the Lime Rain, you're just going to follow the on-screen instructions. And by the time you're done following these instructions, it'll already be jailbreaking. Really fast process. Then uh, these buttons down here, it'll say finish. I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel. And your iDevice will be jailbroken. Uh, so I told y'all I would show you my custom boot logo while y'all are still here. Sorry for this video video being so long. Just like I said, it was going to be a double feature. So I'm going to pause it right now. Alright guys, this is just a really quick glimpse because I'm trying to end this video of what a custom boot or recovery logo would look like. Um, just simple little picture that would fit within the width of your iPhone or iDevice screen. Mine simply says my YouTube name, which is True Tech Productions. And yes, that would conclude our video. Uh, if you would, just please rate, comment, subscribe. Like I said, if you're interested in the giveaway, favorite, comment, uh, subscribe, like the videos. Um, yeah, just post a comment letting me know that you're interested. And like I said, I have more and more stuff to give away. And once I hit 25 subscribers, I'll be giving away the first amount of things. 30 subscribers, I'll be doing even more. And then just from there on. Uh, yeah, so this is True Tech Productions out. Thanks for watching.